Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? Look, I have three good matches that I was able to record on this weekend. One of the matches, uh, a team doesn't give up, which is crazy. The second match is honestly one of the most embarrassing ways I've ever lost. And the third match is honestly one of the most satisfying feelings that I think any person would feel when they're being played around with. But yeah, overall, I had so much fun enjoying, uh, I had so much fun making this video. Hopefully, you know, this format, uh, I'm trying something new. Hopefully it goes somewhere because I really did enjoy making this kind of format. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, here we go. Here's the first game. So I start off with Decavitator. My first objective is to push. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I keep, for, I keep underestimating how much just the Hydra can easily, just how easily it can just shred that Rainmaker. So my first strategy here is just to push behind, and I mean, I have no idea why that, I have absolutely no idea why that Recycled Brella didn't try to fight and take out the Hydra here, uh, oh, or fail miserably, that's completely fine, that's cool. Take out that Slosher that has the very annoying special, what is it called, the uh, Tri-Strike, if I'm correct? Yeah, take out Tri-Strike, take the Hydro from using its Booyah Bomb, that's completely fine, I'll take two. Absolutely nice, absolutely nice. Now, again, same strategy, keep pushing. It's very basic and it works very efficiently. I'm so surprised that, <laughs> very surprised we haven't won yet. It's the very good enemy team, they're not, they're not giving up, they're trying their best. Taking out two and then dying, unfortunately, that sucks. But you know what, that's fine, we'll, we'll continue the pressure. Oh boy, and then jump to the beacon. Very nice, very nice beacon, by the way. Whoever put that beacon is really goaded. Now, I don't remember what I was trying to do here. I was trying to get the Hydra, but you know, I had to change strat because that's not gonna work out. Miss the Octo Shot, get killed by the Clash, unfortunately, which, I mean, you can't really do much about. <laughs> it's a pretty funny match considering that. <laughs> <laughs> they're not they're not giving up that's a good that's a good thing but at the same time it's like give us the win <laughs> it's our win so okay my next strat here is just obvious flank go behind and catch them off guard hopefully you know get some points in it does work yes it it absolutely does work failed to get the kill on the octo shot how unfortunate it's, it's very unfortunate but you know what can you do right all right spawn in and I can see that they're down three, or they're all down. Okay, now that's a good idea. That's a good job for me as a decavitator to start pushing up, setting up for my allies, you know, making things easier for them. That's the entire purpose of what I'm trying to do. Failing to get the Octo Shot because, you know, uh, I suck. <laughs> uh, again, failing to get the Octo Brush here. You know, mismanaging my ink, failing miserably, getting killed by the Clash. If I didn't fail to kill that Octo Shot earlier, I wouldn't have gotten killed by that, that, by that Clash Blaster. But unfortunately, because I'm being a fool, <laughs> I get I get punished really bad. So that was my own fault. Uh, okay, so right here again, I'm waiting patiently, trying to set myself up. Fail to put the wall up because I'm a scrub. Get the successful kill on the octo shot, and failing to kill the rainmaker. Uh, I think I failed to kill the clash blaster here, if I'm correct. Uh, no, I do kill the clash blaster, but obviously I made the most. No, no way, I didn't kill the Clash Blaster. I just made the most obvious mistake of not uh, being a little bit more unpredictable with my dashes. I mean, if you make such an obvious dash lash, you're gonna obviously get taken out, and that's what happened. I wasn't being careful, I was being a fool. I underestimated the Clash and got killed for it. So that's fantastic. Almost get killed here by the Octo Shot, which is completely fine, you know. Push, there we go, I get one kill. Securing the second one, securing the third one too. There we go. Now here is where I start to set up myself with the inkjet. Uh, take a while to kill that Hydra, kill the Clash Blaster, failing to kill the Recycled Brella, kill the Recycled Brella, and get killed by the Octo Shot. <laughs> it's so funny this match. The enemy team is not giving up. I mean, what can you do? It's really they're they're really good at they're really good enemies or not enemies. They're really good opponents. Uh, <laughs> get the Hydra here. Very, very, very miracle that I got the Hydra there. Uh, failing to kill the Octo Shot and get punished by the Recycled, who clutched that 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 shield. Absolutely, 
Absolutely goaded that recycled Brella. Uh, there's only 35 seconds left. <laughs> this is actually kind of a wild match because <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't won yet. <laughs> I was kind of getting impatient. So as you can see, I'm going back, seeing that my ally is also back there, and I pretty much got him killed because <laughs> because I'm being I'm I'm being too impatient. <laughs> oh man, this is so funny. <laughs> Oh boy. So hopefully in the last few seconds just get the you see secure the rainmaker and get the W. There we go. Alright, and here is game two. Now I'm gonna spoil the game for you, uh, because I, I mean this is honestly kind of embarrassing. We lose the match. Like we just straight up lose the match. It was it was so unbelievably uh upsetting how we lost. And to be fair, this, uh, I, I guess this game is more to showcase the problem with Painbrush of how I feel about the weapon. I, I really do want to play this weapon a little bit more. I really like how it feels. And I, and I really do want to play it for, honestly, a long time because I just really like how this weapon feels. But towards the end, you're going to understand why I have problems with this weapon. And I'm honestly quite surprised that they haven't uh, try to tune it up a little more or make it faster or, or, or faster or faster get make it faster or give it more range uh, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised that paintbrush is surprisingly slow and weak for a weapon that should do more damage up close but anyways I'm, I'm just gonna talk about the match and what my thought process is here I'm gonna get to the complaining a little bit later but uh, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about what happens uh, happens during this match. Okay, so jump to my ally here. You know, keep things simple. Since there's no enemies pushing, there's no point of just jumping to uh, not jumping, just starting at spawn. Just jump to your ally and immediately start pushing. Hmm. I get the kill here on the Tetra, if I'm correct, and I get the kill here on the Wiper. That's very nice. Setting my teammates up for a nice juicy push with that. Uh, with that curling, successfully kill the Flingza, failing to kill the 52. No, I kill. I do kill the 52, and I do get the. I think I get the the um, the wiper. And if I'm correct, the Tetra did end up killing our Rainmaker, which kind of sucks. And you know, I continuously keep pushing. You know, keep that pressure on. And for some reason, our Rainmaker died again. And again and again, I just keep seeing the en the enemies continuously spawning, which I, I mean I gotta say I I really don't like quick respawn. Uh, this makes me not like it anymore. But I mean I'm not a game designer, so how would I know what, what's good for the game? I don't know. But okay, securing the kill on the wiper here. <laughs> again, getting ready to set up my allies. I think I failed to kill the Hydra, not the Hydra, the uh, Tetra here. And I'm being pushed by the, the 52. <laughs> I was a little lost here because there was so much. There was so much going on. We should have honestly won by that point already. Killing the wiper here again. Trying to set up my allies. Get that. Get that wave breaker on. Uh, I have no idea how I even died to that flingsa, but I, I secured the kill with the flingsa. That's awesome. And yeah, just again continue putting on that pressure and. For some reason, we still haven't won yet, which is very concerning. <laughs> and I guess I guess this is where I made a mistake and not protect my my splash. But luckily, our splash is a beast, and he got a triple kill because, of course, I get the goaded teammates, uh, which is nice. Uh, again, <laughs> we, again, we're right there. We could have easily have won, <laughs> but we didn't push. So it's just like a. Oh, I'm getting very impatient again because it's just like, come on, man! Like this happened not too long ago. We should, we should be pushing and winning. That that hasn't happened yet. Wiper is going for the, <laughs> he's going for the Rainmaker. I get missiled and oh my goodness, this is the dumbest death I've ever gotten in my life. I get killed by that one perfectly precise missile that got me towards the end. And this is where this is where the unfortunate happened. So I set myself up. To put myself in a good position so the enemy you know so the enemy doesn't win and here's where the oh this is so annoying like come on man like that that should have definitely have gotten 
That should have definitely have killed all three of them. But unfortunately, this weapon just doesn't deal any damage. I have my problems with the paintbrush. I definitely think it needs some kind of buff, whether it be a range, a power, or a speed buff. That, that's, personally, that's personally what I would give it, but again, I might be wrong. Maybe the data shows that the paintbrush is actually way better than I originally thought. But again, that, that's still pretty frustrating. <laughs> All right, now we're in game three. Still upset about how I absolutely got embarrassed in that last match. That's very unfortunate, that's upsetting. But you know what? <laughs> I still die. <laughs> Off to a great start. That's completely fine. You know the saying where there is dark, where there is darkness, let there be light. This is one of those fuse games uh, where I actually do manage to make a comeback. And yeah, I mean, it, it's just awesome. I get reversed last game and I'll make a comeback this game that's really nice but all right I'm gonna get to my thought process and what I do here so there's a brush behind us obviously take care of the brush but most importantly take care of the uh take care of the enemy that's jumping surprised that that guy hasn't died uh, okay cool very nice uh still a little bit confused as to how I feel to get that and obviously I'm being a goofball there I absolutely missed the ink brush and the splat dually is trying to get us with the crab tank Get the kill on the ink brush outsmarting that ink brush with my 200 iq play uh being <laughs> being pursued by the slosher he gets me because I'm, i was being a fool i wasn't i wasn't retreating instead i just walk up towards him and yeah i, I get punished hardcore with that um but that's fine you know uh so okay my next strategy is to go i think it's go to the right and apply pressure on the right side but some of the things more importantly that I do in Flounder Heights is paint the walls because what a lot of people don't do and I find this very aggravating is not paint the walls. I see that the paintbrush here, uh, I didn't see that the paintbrush didn't have special. He gets me unfortunately and I waste my uh, wave breaker, which I mean, it, I mean, it's not too bad. Again, it's a wave breaker. I'm, I'm not really going to do much against a wave. I'm not going to do much against the enemy team if I have a wave breaker and they have a uh, stamper. Uh, absolutely get killed here because I, I took way too much damage. I couldn't even parry the Rainmaker shot, so that's unfortunate. All right, so again, the next strategy is here is just to make sure that the enemy doesn't push too far up. Uh, absolutely get ambushed by the dually here. That was my own fault. I should have been a little bit more careful. If I wasn't impatient, I would have survived that, but because I was being a fool, uh, I get killed there. So again, uh, try to go left side here. Try to make sure that the enemy doesn't push. Uh, absolutely just made a huge mistake here pushing a crab tank that was not a good idea usually when you are playing a paintbrush and you want to push a crab tank you want to be in a position where it takes them a while to turn and uh, and then swing your paintbrush to hit them from above so that you can secure a kill without putting yourself in danger uh, that's what I failed to do I put myself in front of a paintbrush rather than you know uh, rather than doing using the brushes roll to take them off guard okay here, I I know that the paintbrush has a slow projectile, so I paint in front of the Rainmaker, uh, preventing him from pushing. Now, the second thing I do here is paint the walls, because again, absolutely do not understand why nobody's painting the walls, because when we paint the walls, we're actually preventing the enemy from quickly going from point A to point B. Now, again, here, I try to successfully deal with the enemies, I almost get the dually, but absolutely end up whiffing there because I was being a fool. I was aiming too low, and that's what happens when you don't adjust your aim for your enemy. You get punished like that. So I jump, and this is where the slosher made the biggest mistake of his life was ulting me. I think he was playing around, and he ulted me because, you know, it's kind of like a taunt kill, and this is where he made the biggest mistake because this is exactly where the momentum of the match finally turns around for me. It actually goes in favor. So I fail killing the ink brush here because again, I'm a scrub. <laughs> I'm not looking up and I know I should look up, but I'm, I'm not doing that, <laughs> which is completely fine. And if I'm correct here, I think this is the, I think this is the respawn where it actually favors us. So, okay, this is where, this is the moment momentum has finally shifted. So I successfully kill that splash, absolutely do what's the right move, kill the, uh, kill the splat dually by aiming up, successfully killing the slosher, and then killing the splash again, failing to kill the enemy that left there, we got checkpoint. Now the second thing is to do is to push 
the enemy. And whoever whoever did that that uh tri uh, the tri rocket I forgot the name of it the trizuka absolutely goaded. Now this is where I bait the enemy, throw the wave breaker, protecting myself, securing two kills, see the slasher, secure the third kill, and successfully allow my teammates to push up. We have absolutely they the enemy team has played around with us too much and they were they were being way too pushy they were being way too <laughs> they were playing around way too much and this is where the momentum finally shifted for us so that was probably the that, was, that probably made that absolutely made my day because on the on one game i lost terribly and on this game i it, it feels good to get payback for an enemy that just uh treats you like some kind of punching bag and i mean that's what happens man that's what happens when you don't take a game serious when the momentum shifts you can't come back from it <laughs> well ggs anyways all right and that does it those are the three matches that i was able to get uh this weekend i really hope you guys enjoyed it i had well i had a lot of problems with x rank hopefully i can get through that goal by the end of the by the end of the month but you know who who knows i might get more than twenty-eight thousand. i might not twenty-eight thousand. Twenty-eight hundred. 2800 i might not get Anyways, thank you for enjoying the video and I hope you guys have a great day.